This is Drosera regia, known as the king sundew. Its leaves can become quite long, with some specimens reaching over a foot in length. And this particular plant is a bit smaller than that, but regardless, this leaf here is still over, I'd say, over four inches long. Here's a quarter for comparison. I really enjoy the sundew because the newer growth unfurls over a period of three days, and it resembles somewhat like a, a serpent or something like that. You could kind of see an example here. But uh, the newer growth unfurls from the center and then unleashes these long leaves, as you can see here. The Drosera regia can develop a bit more red coloration, which is pretty neat to see if you don't feed it for a while and you give it bright light intensity. This plant here has been fed within the past two months pretty regularly, so it's more of a greenish coloration. I really also enjoy the older leaves tend to die and um, when they dry out they have a black um, sort of really interesting coloration that resembles a, a Venus flytrap uh, when it's fully um, the leaves are fully spent and there's evidently some evolutionary relatedness between these two species which is pretty interesting as well. Uh, I have not had this plant flower for me yet um, I think you might need to have a variation in photo period but this plant is clearly not large enough compared to other specimens I've seen to do that right now. I also have seen um, other growers that the roots extend out of the bottom of the pot that's over a foot long so this can develop an incredibly extensive root system and you can kind of see a root that is developing here which is more of a supporting root since the plant is kind of being pushed out towards the side of the pot by this plant in the center. But these are perfect for root cuttings and I've actually propagated um, several plants for other growers with this method. There's also another form of Drosera regia um, which is called the Big Easy form. And you can actually see the, oh sorry about that, um, you can see that the leaves on all Drosera regia have some very nice folding action. Um, they really curl up over the prey like crazy into a ball if you feed them enough. And um, that's pretty neat to see that kind of action from um, any sundew. And so yeah, I really enjoy this. It, it prefers cooler temperatures because um, over a temperature of about 85 degrees or 90 degrees Fahrenheit, I've really had not too much success with keeping this plant alive. So I've kept it in the cooler basement where the summer temperatures reach about 80 degrees Fahrenheit, but never exceed that too much. So this has grown like, it's, it looks like this all year round for me, which is pretty nice to have a, a reliable um, condition for this plant. I know that other growers have had a bit of trouble with it, but I think that given enough light intensity and fed regularly, and um, given cooler enough temperatures, you can make your Drosera regia happy. They're available at um, several websites. Um, unfortunately, at certain times of the year, they're, they're um, a bit sold out of these, but I think being that they've got a pretty reasonable amount of these plants in tissue culture, they should be able to pump out decent numbers of these plants over the next few years for all of you people who are interested in obtaining this plant. So I hope you get a better idea of, of what this plant um, is all about, and this is Drosera regia. Hope you enjoyed.